Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Market Simulator. My name is Melanie V. This is now episode 5 in this series and today we kind of got started by ordering a few products and getting the shelf all set up and I think we're going to go ahead and open up the store. So right now we have about 417 in cash. What should we do with that? Let's see if there's anything we need to pay off. So let's look at our bills. We've got a couple of bills. This one is due on day 11. That is kind of approaching. Um, this one is due on day 12. We'll give that a little bit more time. Our rent is due today. Let's go ahead and pay that. And the next day is on the 10th. Okay, I think we're good right now for bills. And our licenses, what is available? So the next license requires level six. We are currently at level seven and $400. So we'll be able to buy this pretty soon. And I think that's going to be our next big purchase. Okay, we got a customer in the store. We got a couple customers here. Let's get these people served. Got some eggs in flour. That's going to be 775. And a small order to start the day. So we definitely have way too many shelves for the number of products we have. So we will need to fill that up. We got a big order here from this lady. $28, please. And you don't get any change. Have a lovely day. And what does this gentleman want? Some coffee. Big spender. $21, please. There you are. Have a good day, sir. So I'm thinking maybe we might move the fridges over a bit, but first we kind of have to get it a little bit more organized. There is stuff on the shelves all over the place, like the bottled water. We have bottled water in like three different spots. It's kind of crazy. And we'll sell this eggs to this gentleman, and that's going to be $8. So there you are. Have a lovely day. And that's going to be nineteen fifty for you, sir. Okay, lots of customers back to back. And your total comes to thirteen fifty. I'll take that. No change. And that's going to be sixteen dollars for you. One six. We'll see you around. I like it when people buy coffee. Coffee is our best product, that is for sure. So that's going to be $23.50. I mean, it is pretty pricey to buy the coffee, but it's worth it, I think. And your total comes to $19.75. Okay, have a lovely day. Oh, Scary is back. Oh, but she's got a big order. We better be nice to her. Oh, she really likes that powdered sugar, huh? $43 for your total, ma'am. Have a really good day. I wanted to encourage her to smile, but that would be kind of rude. Oh my gosh, Scary has a sister, but she's in like a, a different coat that she has. Like, <laughs> nicer colored here. It's gray, but it's nicer colored. Okay, $17.75. Okay, I apologize for being rude, scary sister. I mean, um, nice lady. And your total comes to 1825, ma'am. No change for you. Have a good day. And 1775, we'll take that. Okay, the customers are non-stop right now. We're not even gonna get a break to be like reorder stuff. 2050. Nobody, everybody's paying with exact change. I love it. Ooh, another big order here. And that total is $34. Yep. Exact change. Oh, we're out of uh, sugar, powdered sugar. I think Scary got it. She definitely loaded up on a bunch of powdered sugar. So it seems like there's quite a new, few new characters today. But we will serve everyone who wants to purchase stuff from our shop. 
And your total is $29, ma'am. Oh, first person needing change. There you are. Oh, I really need to get that powdered sugar. And your total comes to $45.50. Oh, she paid with a $100 bill. Why? I guess it's fine. $54.50. 50 cent piece. There you are. Oh, we're out of pasta now, too. We really need to get some more stuff in stock. Oh, the day is just going by too quickly. Uh, $30. Maybe we should start uh, ordering like double amounts of products so we can get through a full day. And your total comes to $16.75, ma'am. Yeah, if we order maybe double amounts of stuff, then we can get through the entire day without having to, like, stop to go order more stuff. $12 is your total, and you don't need any change. However, we do need some light. Let's get this switched on. Okay, how are you today, sir? And 1775 is your total. There you go. And ten dollars, please. Why would you give me eleven dollars? You know I have to give you back that dollar you gave me extra. Why did you do that? That's weird. Whatever, do what you want. And four fifty is your total, sir. Here is a fifty cent piece for you. Oh, your brother is here right after you. Uh, six seventy five. Okay, I can definitely tell we're running low on products because people are uh, picking up less stuff. Um, 675 is your total as well. Ma'am, your total comes to 650. Come on, people, buy some cereal. No change. Just the oil, huh? Okay. We'll sell you some oil. And that total comes to twelve fifty. Have a lovely day, sir. And fourteen dollars is yours. Okay, people are gonna start complaining again. Of course they are. I don't blame them. I'd be annoyed if I go to the grocery store and they didn't have what I needed. Okay, well it is nine PM. Look how much money we've made for today though. Um, I think we'll go ahead and close up the shop for now. And maybe let's just order some more stuff. So cereal, we are good on. I wish we could just move the cereal over to the shelf here. It's taking up a whole entire spot. I can put it back in the box, but I don't have any boxes. I got these boxes, but yeah. Not the box for the cereal. Let's put out some more coffee. And we'll drop this box for now. Can we just drop the box? Yeah. We totally can. Load up some more coffee here. And we'll place a random coffee on that shelf. Why not? I'm kind of like, I wish we could like not, like I need a storage place to put stuff in, like so we can have excess product. I just don't want to leave it on the floor, you know? Okay, let's get this in the trash. So we got oil, we got some cereal, we got lots of cereal. We got quite a bit of coffee. We need more bread, though. So we're not going to get any more cereal, maybe. And we're not going to get any more tea or coffee. I don't even think I want to get any oil. Oh my goodness, look at this. Um, I have milk in four different spots. And not one of them are empty. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I wish I could move those. 
Let's put some cheese right there. We'll dump our cheese box. And I think we should go ahead and call it a day. We've made quite a bit of money. We can order our products in the morning. So let's close for day nine. We made quite a bit, $5.29 for our income, our supplies cost $201, and we've paid rent and a bill, so our net profit for today is $328, not bad. So Navarro coffee has gone down, sugar powder has gone down, and bottled water went up. So should I change the prices? Is that what it's trying to tell me? Um, maybe I should. Okay, so I'm not ordering any milk, but I'll pretty much order everything else. And actually, we wanted to get a new product license, right? So if we spend 400, that's going to leave us with $500. So let's go ahead and do it. Yes, we got some new stuff we can get. Let's check out the marketplace. So are we buying cereal? Buying bread. Um, definitely wanted sh flour, not oil, buying pasta, definitely powdered sugar, maybe even two. Bottled water, sure. Cheese, why not? Dark coffee, no. Buy some eggs, no milk, no tea. And here are some of the new products. Ooh, peanut butter. Uh, flour. Farine is there there's two different types of flour. This is craft tongue flour and this is farine flour. Uh okay. So that's all we can order on the first go or one go rather. So yeah. Purchase that. And we'll get some olive oil. Ooh, spaghetti. I will take spaghetti. Basmati rice. Nice. And some salt. So we got a bunch of the new products. One thing we have to remember is to actually be sure to put the pricing on those. Let's check out the bank. So um, remaining payment is six ninety. dollars um, Number of payments left, 12 days. If we were to pay it off today, we can save some money on that. Do I want to save that money though? $75, that's $75. Um, we'll think about it at the end of the day. Depending on how much we make. Okay, so... Uh, did I buy... I hope I didn't buy any cereal. Okay, we got tons of products to load in. So let's get started on that. Okay, this is our last item to load on the shelf. We got some salt here. Let's put it right over here. We'll take up a bit of space. Oh no! Get back out of there, you! Nice try. Let's even this up a bit even. There we go. I wonder if we can, like... Get a trash can to go like right in our store but we'll probably end up having to like take the trash out at night we won't want to do that what we want to do though is price these items so we got some uh, olive oil it's 2.99 normally i think should we go for 5.75 or should we go straight for six dollars let's try six dollars and see how things go with six dollars hopefully no one complains and salt so we pay 75 cents for each one let's go to 25 on this i think that is a fair price okay what else do we have to do um spaghetti 662 should we make it 675 or seven dollars I think seven is a good price. Yeah, that's a nice even number. And our farine flour. We're going to make that seven dollars as well. 
Um, is that it for pricing? Nothing else. Oh, right. We got this basmati rice. Oh, I think I see another $7 product. Got lots of $7 products. And that is it. I think today is going to be a good day. But let's check out what we're going to focus on next time. Get out of that menu. So licenses, the next license require level 9. We're not quite there yet, but by the end of the day, I'm sure we'll get to level 9. Bells, um... Oh, why is rent due like every day? <laughs> um... So we got a couple of bills. This has two days left on it, so we're not going to worry about that. But our growth, we can get our next section purchase. This is the next one. Seven fifty. Ooh boy. Oh storage. Storage lo is locked. Eight hundred dollars to purchase. Okay, I want that. Um. Oh, we can get cash shares. One, two, three, four cash shares. Okay, let's go and check out and make sure there's no customers waiting. Oh, my apologies, sir. How long have you been waiting here? That's going to be ten fifty. I will take your money and give you back. Fifty cent. Oh, she's loading up on the peanut butter. She's definitely making peanut butter sandwiches. Maybe some egg sandwiches, too. Okay, your total comes to $34.80. Um, did I not change the price of the peanut butter? I didn't. Uh-oh, that's going to be twelve ninety. Okay, we're going to have to fix that. Thought I got everything, but apparently not. We didn't change the price of our peanut butter. We're practically giving it away right now. Okay, um, let's go with five five fifty for that. That sounds fair. And we'll get back to our customers. Good day, sir. You're always so dressed up. Um, six fifty for your total. Another fairly decent sized order. Eighteen dollars and seventy cents, please. And I'll give you back a dollar thirty. Have a lovely day. Your total comes to seventeen twenty-five on your card. Yeah, we take plastic here. There you are. Oh, this person is new. Um, your total comes to three fifty. One, two, three. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need to give her. I need to give her back fifty cents. She's supposed to give me three fifty. And that's going to be $18 total. There's your dollar change. Uh, $33.50. Thank you, sir. And your total comes to $17.75. Okay, let me go check out the shelves a bit. See if we're kind of running low on anything. I didn't want to have to do this. Why doesn't anyone buy this cereal? Just buy this cereal that's sitting right there. Okay, shelves are looking fine. We're running kind of low on coffee. Got some powdered sugar we can load up if we need to, but nobody's buying the powdered sugar now. I was getting tons of complaints, and now I buy the sh powdered sugar. Nobody wants it. Oh, wow. Fifty-seven fifty. I think that might be our biggest purchase, single purchase. Uh, two fifty change. Okay, have a lovely day, sir. And twenty-one twenty-five. Um, what did I do? 
Oh, I gave too many 50 cent pieces. Oh, another big order here. Oh, $52, ma'am. Off we go. Oh my gosh, look at all the people in here right now. This is crazy. Give this guy his change. Have a lovely day, sir. Two peanut butters. For sure, we can let you have that. Pasta and olive oil. Good combination. Um, $26. And your total comes to $23. Did you really need to pay with a hundred? Like, really? You didn't. But you did anyway. There you go. Okay, let's get the light switch on. It's already almost seven o'clock. Twelve dollars, please. I'll be seeing you, sir. And eleven dollars for this grumpy looking lady. I'm sure it, your face is fine. Your face is just fine. Have a lovely day. You're gorgeous. Uh, $14, please. I need to stop being so critical of these poor people who are spending money in my establishment. $13, please, sir. And that's going to be forty-eight seventy-five. No change for you. Have a good day. Ooh, the powdered sugar is starting to sell now. Nice. And for you, nine fifty is your total. There you are. Okay, it's almost nine o'clock. We are running out <laughs> of products here. Okay, so fifty-nine twenty-five. Thank you, ma'am. We'll give you your change. I'm not even going to complain about the fact that you paid with a hundred dollar bill. Have a good night. 1850 please. One dollar fifty cents. I oh, know we're out of Basmati. Oh well. We'll get some tomorrow. Twenty-seven dollars for this guy. And maybe we should close up our store now. Um, 2025 is your total. Off you go. Have a nice night. Okay, there you are. So I, if I don't close, I think people will just keep coming until... There's no more products on the shelf. So maybe we'll go turn off the open sign. $14, please. There's a dollar. Have a lovely night. Now let's go ahead and close up the shop. Anybody in here? No. But look at that. Our milk is finally out. So we can get things loaded up properly now um how should i load things i should do them side by side shouldn't i yeah like so we'll have to move the water around a bit too bad we can't just take the water out um we have some powdered sugar left over because people were complaining so we ordered extra Oh, and it did sell out pretty good. <laughs> Let's get that loaded up on the shelf. Put that away. What do we have here? More powdered sugar. Apparently we can't have enough powdered sugar. Okay, so we are at 850. Now, can, should we pay off the loan early? Or should we just break this and just like buying a whole bunch of products? Yeah, we can definitely fill up these shelves a little bit more. 
Now, can I move the shelving over a bit so it's able to fit maybe four shelves? Oh boy. Let's push it back. Okay, I don't think we can get the fourth one in this corner. Ah, just the wrong size overall. But I think we'll do some more ordering tomorrow. Let's go ahead and end the day. So for today, we had 30 customers in total. Seven complained about not finding the products they need. And three thought they were too expensive. What are they talking about? And overall, our store points went up to by 171, income 666.65, and that is scary. Our supply cost 318, upgrades cost 400, we paid some rent, so we had a net loss for today. But overall, we still have exactly $850, so not bad. I think we will focus on maybe paying off our loan next time definitely buying more products but i think that's going to be it for today's episode thank you very much for watching